welcome to this video we are going to concentrate on uh, capital expenditure revenue expenditure we're also going to, to talk about uh, capital receipts and the revenue adding, revenue receipts now before you go anywhere you need to understand what a capital uh, expenditure is a capital expenditure it, these are expenditures spent on fixed assets okay so capital expenditure okay Capital expenditure, they are usually spent on what? Spent on what? Fixed, fixed assets. Wow, revenue expenditure. Okay. Wow, revenue expenditure. These are spent on the day-to-day -day activities of the business. Okay. The what? These they also what we call you add value. When you, whenever you are adding value to an asset, you that is called capital expenditure. But the revenue expenditure, you don't add value to an asset, okay? Because it's just for a short period of time. All right. Now, have, having known what capital expenditure is and revenue expenditure, let's now. Uh, Continue. Classify the following under capital and revenue expenditure. A cost of installing a new machine. Now, a new machine, it's a fixed asset. Now, because a new machine is a fixed asset, we are saying this is capital expenditure. Okay. Capital, because we are buying a new asset, fixed assets. So, this is capital expenditure. Number two, carriage cost on purchases. Are purchases a fixed asset? No. So, and since these are not just a fixed asset, and when you look at it, these are carriage costs. So they are talking of day-to-day -day activities of the business. So this becomes revenue expenditure. Three legal costs for co collecting debts. Is a debt a fixed asset? No. It means. These are debt also activities of the business. People can go from place to place and collect what debt. So these are also revenue expenditure. Then the other one is that building extension to a, wire, a warehouse. So building is a fixed asset. Okay. And you are adding value to a warehouse. That means... That one becomes a capital adding, capital expenditure. Number five. Number five, fire insurance costs. Fire insurance costs. Is there any fixed asset here? No. So these are just the day to day which don't, which just last for a short period of time and the, moreover we are not adding any value to any fixed asset in that team statement so this is a revenue expenditure all right let's go to another question classify the transactions below according to capital expenditure revenue expenditure revenue receipt and cap receipt now I have explained what these are in the previous video, in the previous slide. But now, let, let me explain what these are. Capital receipt and revenue receipt. Capital receipt. These are just receivables, okay? Receivables after selling a fixed asset. Let's say you, you sell a car. That money that you get is what we call capital uh, receipt. Okay. While well, revenue receipt, these are just the incomes uh, coming uh, from the sale of non fixed assets. So, when you talk of revenue receipt, they're just rece uh, receivables coming from. The sale or 
correction of non fixed assets. So this all revenues they don't they mainly they, 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 they can deal with a fixed asset but their main aim is not to add any value to a fixed asset. Okay, so it's it can also come from the the sale or the correction of a non fixed what asset. So now I have explained those two. We can now dig deep, dig in into our our breakfast now. Import duty paid on delivery of office computers bought for business what for business use. Okay, those were bought for business what use. Now I'm just going to. Uh, when look at the import duty paid on delivery, okay, of office computers. Office computers are what? Are fixed assets, okay? They are fixed what? Assets. And this duty which was paid, it was contributing to the value of a computer, okay? Now, since it was contributing to the value of a computer, that becomes a what? A capital expenditure. A capital what expenditure number two the sale of old furniture by check now old furniture is a fixed asset and remember you sold it so that becomes a receipt which is a capital receipt like i said whenever you sell something or whenever you sell a fixed asset that money that you're going to receive because you've sold a fixed asset is what to go cap the receipt and because we saw the fixed asset, we are calling it a capital receipt. Number three. Payment of interest on a loan obtained for extension of factory what, premises. Now, a factory premises is a fixed asset, remember? So we have a fixed asset here. And the, the payment of interest on a loan obtained. You, you got the loan to extend this this factory. Were you adding value? Yes, I was adding value. Now, since I was adding value to this factory premises, this is what we call a capital expenditure. Remember, I'm paying on something to extend my factory. So that one becomes a capital what expenditure because I'm dealing with a fixed asset in, here, in this case. So, that's also capital what expenditure. Number four, commission received for work done on behalf of another trader. Now look at this. Is there any fixed asset being talked about? No. Since there's no any fixed asset being talked about and there is some form of receiving, okay? You received a commission. See that? And because you received a commission, that is the... Uh, a receipt now which type of receipt is it capital receipt or revenue receipt it can only be capital if we are dealing with a fixed asset and we don't have any form of fixed asset mentioned here so this one becomes a revenue receipt because we are receiving from the 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 sale or from something done uh which is not a fixed asset Number five, legal cost for buying a new factory building. We are buying a new factory building, and whenever you are buying a new factory building, so building, it's a, a fixed asset. A factory building is a fixed asset, and you are buying, so you are spending. So that's capital expenditure. Capital expenditure. All right. So thank you. You can also try on other questions, which are I will send then. Uh, Ask where you have a problem. I'll see you in the next video.